Africa is the second biggest continent in the world um, and I think people think it's just this generic place but there's a lot of different countries and different cultures and different mixes um, and it's interesting to come from a country where we speak English then to go to Senegal where they speak French and then to go to Capo Verde where they speak like a Portuguese based Creole um, and we all skate and we're all into similar things but we come from these different cultures and these different backgrounds. We wanted to learn more about skateboarding in West Africa and not just go to Dakar, but we also knew about skateboarders that existed in Capo Verde. I want to see you do something really cool. I'll try. Yeah, yeah. I'll try. Yeah. coming here with him, watching him skate the spots here because we're all like looking around because we're all normal skateboarders and it's like Aaron just looking up the whole time and finding these spots and it's like he did like some insane drops and kids were just like how is this even possible? Even the dudes on the trip are just like how does that this dude skate? He's like yeah, this dude's insane. The dude's just gnarly. <laughs> the dude just breathes gnarly shit. century and they built their first fort in the tropics and over time there was a strong European influence here obviously but Capo Verde was an important stopover point between West Africa and the Americas during the transatlantic slave trade so people were brought here from Africa people moved here from Europe and this really interesting cultural mix developed here over time and uh, we're on the, the largest island, Santiago, where the capital Pai is. And we're just cruising around that whole island looking for spots and checking out beaches.
I'm from South Africa and um, I think seeing West African culture for the first time and experiencing it like first hand, it definitely shows you how diverse everything is. And everyone took us in with open arms and just reminded me how beautiful that African hospitality is all the time. From Dakar, we took this boat over to uh, Gori Island and uh, it's pretty much an island where they'd keep all of the prisoners uh, for the slave trade before they'd be shipped off around various parts of the world, I think mainly to like the US. So we went over there to uh, obviously to see all the memorial site. It's a beautiful island, you can swim, have lunch there. And there was this big cannon up on top of like one of the highest peaks of it. I think it, it, it had a bit of uh, fame to it, taking down like one, one British ship, the Second World War, I believe. I was busy skating down the cannon and the next thing this guy comes running up the hill. Like, get out, skate chill. Like, like he sat on the cannon with pretty much just like, get out, get out, get out, get out. And I was like, I was asking why. He was like, we live underneath the cannon. So I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, a hundred people live under this cannon. So they actually took us into the cannon and they showed us where they live and how they actually built their homes into these old war fortresses. Here I'm the bunker man actually. And now I'm trying to transform the place as an art gallery, as a cultural space for people to access it and to be able to see the mechanic system and the, and the engineer's side of the cannon. And the history, it continues a history that has a universal impact during the slavery time, 400 years of slavery. Over 120 million young people has crossed this island to be spread all over the world. Africa nourished the world and feed the world with his natural resources. The world had grown up and developed themselves, except the place where the resources are coming from. We had gold on this continent here. Gold represents the world economical currency. We are the poorest on this world. There is systematical injustice somewhere that is not spoken. Respect the nature that offers you your life. That's fair. We pollute the world, we pollute the atmosphere, we kill the nature, and we start to panic and think maybe in planet Mars we will find an alternative place where to live. It's a joke. People have to take their own initiative and the choices of their life will help them to be more stable, more simple, more realistic and become. Just deal with the essential and you are living long. <laughs> <laughs>